What do you do? Just think about how often in your life you've been asked that question. When you meet someone for the first time, I can pretty much guarantee that their first question will be, what's your name? But their second question will be inevitably, what do you do? And it's a simple point, but it just serves to remind you of the importance of work and employment in the world in which we live. Now, naturally enough, in today's challenging times, we're often preoccupied with the monetary rewards of being employed. But we shouldn't lose sight of the role work plays in building self-esteem and fostering personal development and also in giving a person independence and choice. People with disabilities face considerable barriers in accessing the labour market, but often it's not the disability that prevents employment, but it's the lack of awareness and lack of knowledge and the environment that does not into, take into account their needs. So removing some of those barriers is what this guide to supported employment hopes to achieve. We worked hard at producing a guide that we think is straightforward accessible and user friendly. So what's in the guide? Well, it's quite simply everything you need to know about employing somebody with a disability. Want to find out how to write a job description for somebody with a disability? That's there. Want to find out more about what reasonable accommodations are? Well, that's there too. Day-to-day -day management, performance appraisal, information about job coaches, grants, everything you need is there. So when we got involved with the Job Shadow Initiative, it made sense for us to launch the guide in tandem with Job Shadow Week. And if the guide does its job, and we hope it will do, and persuades one employer who hadn't previously considered to employ somebody with disability, then we think it'll have been a success. Thank you.